three, two, one. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and I'm proud to say that this is the final episode of the series that I've been promising you guys. I do apologize, it's a little bit short, and that um, it may not have ended or kind of looked the way you may have wanted to. Like I said, Skyrim's a very tough game to do a roleplay in, only because it's to get the characters to do what you want to do. It, okay, we've already been through that. Here's the first, uh, the final episode, and if you guys have any questions about the lore, I mean absolutely anything, I mean like, you know, you know, uh, birth, you know, anything, anything that might pertain to the series that you guys might be a little bit confused on, you know, where certain characters came from, why they turned out the way they did, like, uh, you know, well, you'll see later on, you'll see, uh, you know, the sensei, um, you'll, you'll be able to, uh, you might get a little confused, so, down in the comment section below, this is also going to be a nice little Q&A type deal. Let me know how you feel about the series and then ask me a question. Um, and during another episode of either, I don't know if it's going to be Skyrim or if it'll just be a vlog or something like that, I don't know. I will go through and I will uh, answer all the questions you guys have about the series. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be something stupid and I'll give you the lore behind it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the final episode. I do apologize for taking so long. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Enjoy this episode. This is where it is. The one controlling my son. Pretending to be his friend. Changing destiny. This is where the infinite Tsukiyomi is being held. No longer. My son will not be a pawn. You there. What is this place? Is this the Shinobi world? It's so small. So you're telling me I shouldn't go past there just because that fool back there? Please, if anyone gets in the way of me and my child, I will destroy them. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're a god of this world, you will die, Chidori! Mutt, I am his father. You're just using his grandfather. No, you're using the situation to give him a new set of eyes, the new eternal renegon. So you took the destiny and you changed it. You changed it to however you wanted to see it. You took my eyes at birth. And now you're going to- You're such a fool. You know that only those who possess the shotting gun can defeat me. And I took yours and gave you the Ten Sagon. <laughs> I ensured my victory the moment I saw you born. There's one thing that you didn't account on, and that was 
that my father was still alive. You killed my mother, but you were unable to touch her eyes. Do you know why? It's because you are not worthy of the eyes of a founder. The eyes of the founder? You're talking about the first Uchiha, right? Your mother didn't possess his eyes. She was a fool, a pathetic, pathetic whore of a... What? This... This can't be. You... You have the eyes of the founder? No. Impossible. This is the end for you, Amaterasu. You will no longer be able to control destiny. As you can see, I hold the Susano. I hold the Founder's eyes. You, on the other hand, hold nothing. In fact, once I kill you, I'll be sure to erase your name from history. Destiny will be on your side.